What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, doctor of physical therapy, ToneandTitan.com, and this is how to rehabilitate your hamstring injury the right way. Now, this is an injury that occurs regularly, especially in the active population. It's crucial that you get the recovery right, not only to speed up your recovery time, but also to prevent and to avoid future injury. We don't want any nagging or lingering hamstring injuries. The exercises and the techniques I present to you in this video are going to prevent that from happening. Now, the hard part of a video like this is everyone who's watching might not be in the same phase of injury, meaning I'm going to treat an injury two days old a lot different than I'm going to treat one that's two weeks old, even different than one that I'm going to treat that's two months along. That being said, I've divided it into different phases. What I want you to do is check the description down below for those timestamps, and you can jump kind of right to that phase that's relevant for your specific injury. That being said, let's jump right in with your phase one hamstring rehab exercises. Now, phase one is the first one to seven days after that initial hamstring injury. Our primary goal is controlling inflammation. This is best accomplished with rest, meaning I don't want you to do anything that hurts that area. Ice, I want you to put an ice pack on that hamstring for 15 to 20 minutes, three times a day and then NSAIDs, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, your ibuprofen, your Aleve. Again, the goal is to control inflammation. Another great thing that we can do in this initial phase is some cross-friction massage. I want you to sit with your leg out in front of you, a slight bend in your knee, and then with your fingers, you're going to get in and just massage that hamstring. I'm just going back and forth on the muscle. Now, that's going to be a little tender initially, and most people will say it kind of bugs it for the first about 10 seconds, but after that, you should start to feel that hamstring release and your tolerance start to improve to that cross-friction massage. Spend about five minutes doing this cross-friction massage technique just once daily. The other thing that I like to do is to maintain range of motion through incredibly gentle stretching. Uh, keep in mind, we don't need to pull really hard on this area, but it does feel good to just maintain your range of motion. The simplest way to stretch your hamstring, the one that I like, the one that I recommend in this phase, is to simply kick your foot onto an elevated surface in front of you. And for a lot of people, that will even be adequate to put a pretty good pull on the hamstring. If you do need a little bit more, or if you can tolerate a little bit more than that, stay upright, keep your back nice and straight, and simply lean forward. And honestly, depending on how acute that injury is, that might be about as much as you can tolerate. What I want you to do is hold that for 20 seconds, repeat that three times, so we're looking at about a minute of stretching, and then you're gonna do that three times throughout your day. And my final phase one exercise, I do like to include some form of gentle range of motion to that hamstring, and I like the ball to do this. So what you can do, lay down on your back with a ball down underneath your feet, and then very gently, we're just going to use that hamstring to bend our knees up, and then to straighten our leg back out. So it looks just like that. Now, if you don't have a ball, I am okay with standing hamstring curls, looks just like this, but keep in mind that that is a little more aggressive for range of motion, and so if that hurts, please don't do it. My recommendation is with the ball or with the standing curls, we're gonna do about 10 reps, we're gonna repeat that three times, so about 30 reps, and we need to do that once a day. Those are your phase one exercises, let's jump into phase two. Now these phase two hamstring exercises happen one to about four weeks after that initial injury. Our primary goal now becomes increasing range of motion and introducing some gentle strengthening. So you can still ice and you can still take your ibuprofen or your NSAIDs, but it's not as crucial as during phase one or those phase one exercises. I like to take massage up a level. We're gonna progress that cross friction massage into a foam roller as follows. So we're gonna get on our foam roller and I like to do this one on both legs. And so I'm seated with my legs out in front of me, and then with my arms, I'm offering some support to my torso, and then I'm just rolling that hamstring out. Um, because I have both legs on the foam roller, it's not as concentrated, it's not as aggressive, I would recommend that you spend about five minutes right here. Our stretching becomes a little bit more aggressive, and to do that, I like a seated hamstring stretch. So you're going to sit on uh, your bed, kitchen table, counter, 
somewhere that you can get into this position with your injured leg out in front of you. Grab a belt or a towel or a sheet and you're gonna put that right around your foot. Now in this position, sit up nice and tall, hold your foot gently towards yourself, keep your back straight as you lean forward until a stretch is felt in your hamstring. This one's a little bit more aggressive than the stool that I showed you, but again, it's crucial. I want you to take it just to the point of pain and no further than that. I don't want this one to hurt. You're gonna hold that for approximately 20 seconds, repeat that three times, and then I'm going to have you do that three times throughout your day. Now with our strengthening exercises, we can be a little bit more aggressive with those um, according to this following progression. Um, first of all, let's introduce an isometric hamstring contraction. So you'll see that I've got a slight bend in my knees. Um, my heels are down on the table. You can do these on the floor. What I'm going to do is in this position, just push my heels down into the table. So it's an isometric contraction, but I'm activating those hamstring muscles. That means nothing is moving, but I'm still activating those hamstring muscles. You're gonna hold that for two to three seconds and repeat that about 10 times. As soon as these isometrics become okay, we can start to introduce a little bit of motion by, um, by doing some bridges. So again, the same thing, I'm gonna activate those hamstring muscles. Now what I'm going to do is fire my glutes to lift my butt up off the table, hold that for two to three seconds, and then come right back down. You would perform 10 to 20 reps of that, and you would repeat that three times, just once a day. As soon as that becomes easy, what we can do is progress into a single leg bridge. So now if it's this left hamstring that's injured, I'm going to kick my right leg out straight, fire that hamstring, lift your legs up towards the ceiling, fire that glute, and then come right back down. Same numbers on that, shoot for about three sets of 10. You can progress up to three sets of 20, and then you're just gonna do that one once a day as well. Those are your phase two exercises. Let's jump into phase three. These phase three exercises happen about four plus weeks after your injury. So if it's been at least four weeks since you injured that hamstring, these are gonna be good exercises for you. Our primary goal is to increase strength and promote what we call tissue remodeling. Basically, I wanna break up scar tissue. I want, to, I want it to heal stronger so that we avoid future injury. This is how we're gonna do that. Um, first, uh, the massage that I like, we're still gonna get down on the foam roller. However, now I wanna be a little more aggressive with it. Phase two, I had both legs on the foam roller. This time, I'm actually going to cross the uninjured leg on top of the injured leg, and then that is how I foam roll out that hamstring. Now, all of the weight, not only of this leg, but of this one as well, is focused on that hamstring, providing a little bit deeper massage to that area. Um, again, makes that tissue remodeling a little bit more effective. Spend about five minutes on, that, on, the, uh, on the hamstring, on the foam roller. Um, next, the stretch that I like um, at this phase is going to be a supine hamstring stretch. So again, grab your belt, towel, sheet, whatever long uh, rope, uh, whatever you've got lying around. Um, we're gonna loop that around the foot, and then I'm going to use my hands, keep my knees straight, use my hands to pull my foot up towards me. I'm gonna take it to a comfortable range and hold it right there for 20 seconds, and then I'm going to repeat that three times. Now, the thing that I like about this supine stretch or laying on your back, if you introduce a little bit of a bend into your leg, you can pull and you'll actually feel that stretch a little higher. If you introduce more bend, you can pull higher, but you'll feel that stretch even higher. So you can kind of vary where you feel that stretch based on the degree of bend in your knee. You'll take it to a comfortable position, a comfortable range, you'll hold it there for 20 seconds, and then you'll repeat that three times, two to three times daily um, on those hamstring stretches. Finally, we can be a little more aggressive at this point with our hamstring strengthening. In fact, it's going to be good for it. And so the two that I like for that are going to be some hamstring curls on the ball, and then also some reverse lunges. So the hamstring curls on the ball, you're going to lay down with the ball under your feet. We're going to fire the glutes. So now um, I've got this hip extension, I'm nice and straight up here. We're now going to activate those hamstrings to pull the ball up towards our glutes and then come right back down. So fire it up and then return to that starting position nice and slow. You're gonna shoot for 10 reps um, and then you're gonna repeat that three times, so three sets of 10. If that starts to feel good, you can actually work up to three sets of 20 or even three sets of 30 of these um, hamstring curls on the ball. 
Um, if you don't have the ball, another great strengthening exercise that I love for this would just be some reverse lunges. And so if my, uh, if my injured leg is this left side over here, um, standing upright, I'm just gonna drop down into this lunge and then come right back up. So from here, this is where I wanna fire glutes and hamstring to pull my hip up and forward looks just like that. Same thing applies here. We're gonna shoot for 10 reps. If 10 feels okay, we're gonna do three sets of 10. If that starts to feel okay, you start to get stronger there. We can shoot for three sets of 10 to 30 repetitions. Um, if you haven't done so already, I'd love if you subscribe to Tone and Titan here on YouTube. You can do that at the circle button right here. Here's some great hamstring stretches that you might be interested in. One more video that you guys might like right there. And I hope this helps out. I'll see you next time right here on Tone and Titan.